part of this movie that I want to talk about and something that I definitely didn't get when I was 13. And this is actually a, qu- a legitimate question I have because I don't remember even if I would have noticed this in the book. Um, but then when I was reading some reviews and reactions to this movie, uh, there, there were a few scenes early on that I'm like, is this movie terribly homophobic or maybe he's just killing that guy? I don't remember what's going on here. And then when I was reading some of the reactions uh, of this movie, there were more than a few people that, that were like, this is one of the most homophobic movies I've ever seen, that the villains, the House Harkonnen, are these kind of gross, disgusting, boy-hungry race, or at least at least the Baron is, if not all of them, that are like fucking boys to death. And someone, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, well, I can put this in the show notes, but someone wrote about it um, much later and kind of said that this was also kind of a reference to the AIDS situation where you kind of had this depiction of evil homosexuality on screen that's like covered in sores and is like this gross disgusting monster so again I had never put that stuff together 20 years ago so I apologize if I'm articulating someone else's thoughts on that part of it uh, incorrectly and we can link to the article in the show notes but it definitely watching it again uh, was like this is uncomfortable and something seems gross here and reading some reactions of people that have thought about this movie more than I have in the last 20 years seem to kind of confirm that there's some kind of gross stuff here. So I I want to address that in a couple fronts. One, in the book, he is a pedophile-child murderer, but it wasn't that gross in the book because he's a straight villain. He's this decadent, disgusting man who uses these suspensers, which in the movie just look ridiculous because they just make him fly like he's in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But they don't have the open sores, I believe, is just from the movie. So on the book front, it was just a sign of their decadence that he's just like this disgusting... Like space Caligula. Yeah, which like everybody kind of hates pedophiles. So when when I read the book, I was like, (laughs) well... Yeah, I mean, he's a disgusting person. Like, there's a really great scene in the book where uh, uh, Fade Rotha, uh, played by Sting in the movie, tries to assassinate his uh, his uncle with a, a one of his boy concubines. And basically, he's, like, bringing these boys in. Uh, the, the Duke Vladimir Harkonnen is bringing these boys in and then, uh, yeah, essentially raping them, murdering them. Which in the book, I'm like, he's a bad guy. I don't really, I didn't really see it pedophiles exist i don't know obviously it's a much more complicated discussion now but the book is very old but in the movie i had problems with how it was depicted in a couple ways i didn't catch the sore thing because i didn't associate maybe i'm just showing my ignorance i didn't associate that with uh aids no i thought that was more of a syphilis thing i didn't either Does uh, AIDS again i open? just well it it does in the sense that aids is just an immune disorder that um allows for you know your body breaking down because it can't fight any infections or sores or anything else so um yeah. i mean it can be a side effect but, but yeah I, I i didn't catch that because i just didn't know the signs uh i didn't like how the in the movie i particularly didn't like how the uh pedophile decadent murderer thing was handled there's a lot of ways they could have handled that much more smartly but yeah there's essentially like a weird pseudo rape scene in the book in which by the way giddy prime which is the harkonnen planet is maybe the ugliest set i've ever seen in a movie it's just those neon green panels Mm -hmm. oh it's the ugliest thing ever and it has those like flowers painted gold it looks like the set was put together for like 15 bucks but that scene uh unfolds in a way where this guy's brought in you're like oh no he's gonna do this thing and they could have just done like a cutaway or something but instead they make him into this like frothing laughing villain and he well and they dump they dump oil um yeah, they dump oil they, on they him. dump oil on his head and then he kind of covers himself in blood to the point that like I honestly again it's been a while I was like are they implying that he is vampiric because it's pretty early in the movie and I was kind of forgetting what some of the stuff was and I mean maybe this is like my old grandparents were like I don't I'm, I'm missing what's in front of my face because thinking about it like the the boy comes in and he's kind of cowering and like people are like licking their lips but obviously it's still a PG-13 movie uh, space opera so they're cutting away and then all of a sudden he's covered in blood very quickly after the Baron is so 
you know, for a second I'm like, well, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's something that he needs blood to survive because his body's falling apart that I forgot about. But then there were a couple other scenes later on that's like, oh, no. My my first instincts that this was kind of gross um, were correct. And I think... You know, it's also, and again, the, the, the open source and the connection to the to AIDS was not something that I thought of even today. It was doing some research on the movie. But it is true that in the context of 1984, where it was much easier to go, hey, let's make the audience turn against these people by making them gay. And maybe that wasn't their plan, but it, it feels a little bit, when you look at it through the prism of its time, that some of the decisions they made are even grosser than they are today. And they kind of cut the difference between the book because the sacrifice that the the Harkonnens bring for Vladimir, um, which, by the way, I think whoever's performing that role is doing a terrible job. The, the laugh and the yelling is so over the top to a painful degree. Like, it hurts to watch the performance. And yeah. uh, they, they kind of cut the difference. So he fits the, right in with the rest of the cast. Yeah, yeah. But in the book, his victims are kind of like teenagers or young 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 adolescents this wouldn't have worked in a you know big space opera so instead they decided to have him sort of sex murder somebody that might be a like an 18 year old it's like kind of looks like he's 30 like everyone did in 1984 (laughs) yeah they were like uh, them cutting the difference made it more offensive because it was it was no longer a pedophile pedophilia thing it was a gay thing yep and then the fact that they're equating like hey everyone pedophilia everyone's grossed out with but we can't show that in a PG-13 movie what's something that we could show that will equally disgust the audience that's kind of what it feels like